Yesterday, we talked about adding an NS table view into our app. Now, I'm going to show you how to dynamically manipulate the data by adding a new row to the table. First of all, uh, we should drag uh, the test field and the button. Say I have the test field, which is used to um, enter the content. I could also adjust the table a little bit, give more space. Okay, then I'm going to add a button into it. Say drag this button next to it. Change a little bit on the label. Okay. All right. Now uh, it's time to link up the component into our code. I will do an alternate select to the Swift file I want to open. This will open this um, uh, assistant editor side by side. First of all, I'm going to link up this test field by uh, control, dragging it to the Swift file. Just call it test field as an IP outlet. And then I'm going to uh, link up an IP action. So uh, when I type the content and click the add button, it will add the um, new row with this content. Say here and uh, change it to action and I will call it add fruit. Alright. Now I'm going to uh, implement a little bit on the uh, add fruit action. Say I'm going to um, grab the string from the test field string menu, and then I'm going to add this append it to the strings here. As you can see, there is an error here uh, because our strings variable is defined using let originally and uh, it is immutable. So we need to change it into var to make it mutable. This also implies we are able to add a new content into the strings array. Finally, I will uh, clear out the input by setting it back to empty string. All right. Um, if I'm going to run it now, say I'm adding lemon. As you can see. It seems to be going out, so seems to be this line is run, but it is not there. Because we we change the data source, we need to reload the, to the table view in order to show it. So we are going to reload the table view somewhere here. Uh, first of all, we need to have a reference to the table view. So we select and make sure you are selecting the table view. Uh, for simplicity, we can right click and drag it to uh, say here and then add it as a table view. It shows up a reference of uh, this variable table view to the table view in the storyboard. Now we are able to do this here table view dot reload data. It will refresh the table by loading the latest content from the data source. In this case, it is uh, the strings away. Let's try running it again. We 
lemon and then add. Okay, so uh, if uh, in a Mac environment, we generally would uh, type the word and then we want to click enter. So they should go downstairs, but it is not doing that part yet. We can add a delegate method um, where it, um, uh, it does something when we click the enter button. And in fact, when we click enter, we want to have this word coming up, coming down to the table. To do that, first of all, we choose the test field and then on the properties window click the uh, connection inspector there is a delegate we drag it from the delegate to the view controller and then we add the delegate method here uh, which is ns test field delegate to capture uh, the enter um, event we could uh, implement uh, delegate method uh, called control uh, test did and editing at this point, uh, we could reuse the function effort. But this time, we are not passing any sender into it. Uh, so we want to pass a new. But there is an error here, because it should be accepting a non-new value at this point. We could change the uh, parameter a little bit by requiring an optional um, parameter so new is uh, able to go through let's try running the application again if i now type lemon and then enter it can go down that's it for today thank you